Support for the Agile International Airport project has been strong and growing among various groups from the inception of the project. One of the first groups to show this type of community enthusiasm for the project was the Rose Hall Cultural and Development Organization, which staged a cultural display on Cornell Anderson's Hill in 2009 to rally support for the project and to raise funds as well. At that time, the money raised was just over $800. Since then, many organizations and groups have come forward in support of the project and have been contributing towards the successful development of the project in one way or the other. Being determined to contribute whatever they could to the end, the Rose Hall Cultural and Development Organization, with no money but lots of cultural capital at its disposal, came forward again on Sunday, May 19, 2013, to use their talent to rally support and raise funds for the Argyle Airport project. This was done through a cultural extravaganza which took place in front of the offices of the IADC and through which they managed to raise just under $3,000 which was donated to the airport fund. Prior to the performances, CEO of the IADC, Dr. Rudy Matthias, brought the audience up to date on the progress of the project. As you look around, I am sure you must be delighted with the progress that we have made since we started construction of this airport in August 2008. Over the last four and a half years, or just over, you can see for yourselves that we have done pretty much all of the artworks that we needed to do. In fact, there are only three areas that we have to do a significant amount of artworks. And if you look with me to the north of the terminal building, you would see some rocks protruding there. We tend to refer to that as the Petrograph Hill. And that is one of the areas on which we still have to do some work. One of the reasons why it is still standing there is because there are some petroglyphs incised on the rocks. And we are trying our best to get support from overseas to cut and to remove those petroglyphs. But as soon as we are able to do that, we are going to start the blasting of these rocks. And in fact, these rocks are going to be used to do the sea defense works that we need to do at the northern end of the runway. If you look with me again towards the southern end of the runway, you will see that there is still an area that we call Fort Hill that is just overlooking the Stubbs Bay. And in that area, we have been blasting for the last two and a half years. And we still have some work to do there to widen the strip. So there is still some work to be done on Fort Hill. And uh, finally, the other significant work that we need to do, which we consider to be artworks, is to build a culvert to take the Yambo River under the runway. So those are the main projects that remain to be done on what we call our art and sidewalks on the airport project. But you look around, you will see that most of the runway is already at the level waiting to receive the rocks and the pavement works that we are going to start very soon. As you look behind you, because most of you are standing with your backs to the terminal building, you will see perhaps one of the most beautiful terminal buildings for any airport in the whole entire Eastern Caribbean. This building is almost complete. In fact, we are about 88% complete on this terminal building, and it is on track to be completed by October, November this year. Of course, when this building is substantially completed by then, we still have a lot of work to do inside the terminal building. As you know, the, the structure has been built, but once we finish that, we have to start putting in the systems, the conveyor belt, the scanners, uh, all of the counters, the um, check-in positions that we have to build for the um, airlines, and for the immigration, we have to do that sort of retrofitting, so that once the building is handed over to us sometime in November, we would start the process of retrofitting the terminal building. But first it has to be completed, the structure has to be done. And we expect that this work will be completed by November. You 
must know that the significant part of the work then that remains to be done is the pavement works. And uh, the pavement works requires money. When we started this year, we said that we needed 80 million US dollars to complete the airport. And I am very happy today to tell you that so far, up to now, we have either got approval for funding or we have identified 64 million US of the 80 million that we need to have. I am holding in my hand here an offer that was made to us just this Friday. That is Friday, Friday gone. By an international bank to provide us with 15 million US dollars or 40.7 million EC dollars to help with the construction works that we have to do here. Part of this money that we have just got approval for will be used to retrofit the terminal building to buy some of these same things that I've just mentioned. The scanners, that is for the security equipment, the checking counters for the airlines, the conveyor belts, and those sort of equipment that you expect we would have to buy for the terminal building. But in addition to that, the money is going to help us to acquire the equipment that we need to do the pavement works. As you know, we are trying to do the pavement works ourselves to reduce the cost of the construction of this airport. So we have to buy an asphalt plant as well as a concrete batching plant because the apron itself is going to be done using hydraulic concrete and the runway is going to be done using asphalt concrete. So right next to me here where you see we have been crushing stones and piling the stones, we are going to assemble a concrete batching plant and an asphalt plant and those equipment are going to help us to do the pavement works that we have to do here. I am delighted for another good reason. I am delighted that the young people are here today to see what we are doing. Because we are going to start today the celebration of the completion of the Argyle International Airport. In fact, today is a foretaste of what we all expect to happen in a much better way in late 2014 when we open this International Airport here at Argyle. One thing that gives me great joy is the fact that so many young people are here to see and to witness something that we all thought was near impossible. In 2005, when this airport project was launched, few people in St. Vincent believed that it could have been done. But today, we are seeing the project being done, and uh, God's willing, we would all be alive to see the completion of it next year, and more importantly, to see the first plane touch down in late 2014. For young people, what that tells me is that you have an opportunity now to see something that was difficult and to see the way we have addressed it. If nothing else, it would help you in future that when you confront a difficult task, you can have faith. You should not give up. Because as they say, nothing good comes easy. The doubting Thomases are just that now, doubting. But you are seeing right before you the culmination of a dream, a dream that was held since 1950s. All of us are part of this process. And I believe, if nothing else, in future it will give us much greater confidence that when we are confronted with a difficult task, we should not be faint of heart, we should proceed. We should proceed because God is on our side. Following this progress report, it was into the performances. We now bring you highlights from the cultural package.
been magic right and a whole new world and you a fantastic point of view no one to tell us no or where to go a same only dreaming After all that, this is what I found. Nobody wanna be alone. Even touched by the words of the song. Baby, you got it, you got it back. The ugly girl had a little fight last night. She went to bed with her back down all night. So we break past the bed. I decide to make it up. Just for she to see that I'm really sorry. I don't want no things from you, you think this is a puppy show, hey, I don't want no things from you, you're definitely a puppy show, I don't want your brain fast, what is wrong with you, I don't want your brain fast, girl I'm making you, You too can contribute to the Argyle Airport project. The account number is 200884 at the Bank of SVG. Remember also that group tours of the site are still being offered. Give us a call at 458-0333 to make arrangements. <laughs>